Hi Cancer, welcome to this reading. This is for Cancer, Sun, Moon and Rising Signs, though you might find it resonates more if Cancer is your Moon or Rising Sign. Okay, we have the Queen of Pentacles, we have the Four of Wands. Three of Cups reversed and we have the King of Swords reversed. Okay. So I'm looking at this as your person saying, I would like to have commitment with you, but I'm too afraid to say it, King of Swords reversed. Now, of course, there could be the message here that there is a third party, especially with the Three of Cups. And we know that the Queen of Pentacles can be like a long-term partner or a spouse. Um, and with the King of Swords reversed, this is someone that your person is needing to basically you know, cut ties with, cut cords with, and they might be struggling because there's a foundation intact. However, the primary feeling I got when I pulled out this Queen of Pentacles is that this is about you, how they see you. You could be an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, or, you know, even if not, they just see you as someone who is abundant, stable, mature, um, someone who you know, everybody, <laughs> well, not everybody, but you know, if someone has an interest in you, they, they can see that you would make um, potentially an amazing lifelong partner here. You're not someone that people just want to have a bit of fun with and that's it. You know, yes, fun, of course, but alongside having um, longer term plans. Now, I wasn't going to read it this way. My intention was to read this more like um, in the traditional sense, but the creator of this deck says in the... Um, the book that her intention is that the queens in terms of hierarchy are actually above the kings and i just feel that's really significant here because we have the queen out first so you know think of this almost as the king of pentacles in terms of the hierarchical level here so your person feels that um you've made it you know in whatever um stable so, um sense you know in terms of your resources in terms of your generosity in terms of your groundedness your st stability so this could be in terms of work money career it could be in another way they feel that you're showing and expressing this um and even if you don't feel it you know they're definitely seeing this in you and looking at you as someone to be taken very very seriously they also feel you know that you are incredibly attractive beautiful handsome um and also you dress in a way that flatters you. So it doesn't have to be that you follow trends or you have like a particularly extravagant style, but whatever it is that you wear, it's it's very flattering on you. Um, okay, I am noticing we do not have, at least yet, we don't have the counterpart to the Queen of Pentacles here. And I all, I, you know, I do get the feeling that they kind of feel that you've got everything going for you. You've set yourself up and your life up very nicely. Even if you're thinking there are some changes you'd like to make, you know, they're not seeing this. They're saying, wow, you know, you've done amazingly for yourself. I'm over here. I am leveling up, but I'm not quite on your level yet. And there is some hesitation to speak up because that's how they feel. Um, three of cups in reverse. They don't want this to just be friendly or a flirtation anymore. I also feel that if maybe you met through friends or in a situation where there were other people, say like at work and there are, you know, colleagues around, something like that, it's almost like they're saying, let's get rid of those people. Let's take them out of the equation and let's, you know, do something together, just the two of us. Okay, what else please? What else does my viewers person want to say to them, please? What does this person want for my viewer to know? We have the Four of Pentacles. Okay. So they could feel that you are a bit... Um, you're careful with your resources. You're careful with your time, specifically your time here. Um, I'm, I'm looking at these scales. And on the one hand, we have a tree. And we know a tree takes a long, long time to grow, particularly, you know, you know, when we see trees that are huge, massive, they've been growing for years, decades, you know, way before we were probably here. And then on the other scale, we have a book. Um, so that's telling me something about learning, investing. So these could be literal things. They could be just sort of metaphorical, symbolic here. But your person is saying this is how you became this queen of pentacles who in this deck remember has the status of a king because you invest your time wisely so your person is saying when i look at you when i think of you i see someone i think of someone who 
is being serious. They're serious about themselves, about their lives, they're planning, they're building for the future here. Then They don't just wake up and think, oh, what shall I do today? And then go to bed and they've achieved nothing. You know, you've got a plan here and you're following it through. And because of that, you don't have time to waste. Um, so I don't know if, if you agree with this. And if you do, if it's like a, a period in time, maybe you're really pushing in your career or with your home or something like that. Or if this is just you in general, that you like to have a plan and you're really sticking to it. So there's a feeling here where your person's saying, I don't feel that I get as much of your time as I would like. However, I feel you coming up as the queen of pentacles. You're not stingy with your time. You will give your time to things and people that are clearly worth it. So you might be feeling like, well, if you were showing up as this upright king of swords, you would be one of these things that I was giving my, my serious time to, that I was seriously investing in. And in fact, I have tried to invest in you and this and us, but you were messing about. So there's only so much I could do. So, um, and I think they realize that's why they're trying almost to level up here. They're trying to be considered as one of these worthwhile, serious investments that you have going on um, over here. I actually think you're very generous with your resources and your time. Um, but you just you're just not going to waste you know those things okay and how can you give time to someone who won't communicate won't respond won't show up you know okay so messages please let's see we yeah <laughs> look at this we have the empress okay taurus libra energy here but I, yeah i told you they think you're you're i'm hearing the word stunning literally like oh i'm stunned <laughs> you know, like wow you are amazing to look at i am i am shaken here um for some of you i'm feeling like you may have again with this message of the three of cups a gathering you may have gone somewhere where this person also was um could have been social or even if it was something to do with work maybe it was like work drinks or a work do or something and it's like you walked in the room and that you literally took their breath away and they couldn't stop looking at you um Okay, and this is really making me think of the star card, you know? So there's there's something about you that they admire. They might know that many people admire you. Maybe you're literally in the public eye in some way. Okay, but you see, Queen of Pentacles, the Empress. No wonder they're taking you so seriously. Um, what I will say is if, you, if the message about the third party um, applies to you, it seems to me that they're holding on to this third party because of this existing foundation and they're saying, it's not because I want to, and I need to find my courage to speak my truth um, and to use this sword that I have, even if it seems like um, a harsh thing to do to other people. Okay, let's see what else. Messages, please, from this person to my viewer. We have the Hermit in reverse, Virgo energy. So they want to see you again, um, whether that's in person, <clears throat> excuse me, <laughs> whether it's, um, you know, video chat, something like that. They want to see you. If you do live close enough by, they want to go out with you. They want to do something nice, something fun with you. If you've not been speaking, they're very much ready to end this um, period of no communication. So we'll, we'll clarify in a minute and we'll be able to see, are they actually going to act on that feeling, that wish? Oh, we have the five of wands. Wow. Um, only one person has a head, the other has lost a hand. So your person may be in the process of cutting people out, um, fighting people um, off, you know, not listening to other people's opinions here. So they really are making these changes they have to make, but um, I think I, I get the feeling that there's like one ultimate person here for some of you that they've got to remove themselves from that is they're building up it's almost like if you're playing a video game you know and you get to the last level and there's the boss it's like there's a there's a boss sort of figure here that they're um building towards and taking out the other um sort of characters the more minor characters and enemies along the way all the while keeping their eye on you and all the while it seems to me holding back quite a lot but thinking you're really really fabulous here on the back we have the devil capricorn <clears throat> um yes very very tempted by you 
you know, I don't want to say they're obsessed. The, yes, the devil can talk about obsession, but I just feel they're, they're incredibly focused. Like, they do check up on you if there's a way for them to do so. If not, they just think about you all the time. And I do feel, I feel that every decision that they're making at this time, they are, they're factoring you in. And that sounds a bit dodge. As in, I would never say to you guys, you know, hold your lives back or make your decisions based on someone who's not even talking to you, never. But, and that, you know, that would seem sort of counterproductive, but I think in this case, it's actually kind of healthy for them because they're seeing you as inspiration. And if I'm honest, I do think you have been inspiring them to make better changes for themselves. I do think your person has leveled up because they keep thinking of you. It's almost, okay, let me give you an example. So let's say, they are in a job and they're like well i've wanted to expand but i haven't believed in myself and i could do this i could do that what would you you know what would so and so do is in you you the viewer what would they do i think they'd go for it okay i'm going to put myself out there so they go for it it's like thinking of you watching you admiring you being inspired by you it's helping them to step into their own personal power i also feel that you know when they're thinking about say friends um people they're around people they spend time with they're actually thinking of you and thinking um are these the sort of people that you would spend time with are these the sort of people that you would give your, your precious resources and valuable time to and would you listen to these people would you um would you would you you know if you and your person were together would you want to hang out with those sorts of people um you know that that sort of thing and they're i think in many cases they're realizing no but it's not like they're saying, well, if you don't like my friend, I'm gonna cut my friend off, that's unhealthy. It's like they're saying, you probably wouldn't like this person. Why, would, why wouldn't you, the viewer, like this person? Well, because they're close-minded, they're arrogant, they're brash, they're rude, they're cruel, they're mean, and then they're deciding for themselves. Those are pretty good reasons to detach from this person. So you see, it's, it's not that they're copying you or they're doing everything just to please you, you know, and to say, hey, I've made myself into something I think you will like. It, it's actually that you're really inspiring them to think deeply um, about themselves, their life, and, and, you know, the people around them and the choices they're making and to aim higher as well. Um, okay, so let me see then. You know, I know they want to speak to you. It feels like they're saying, I've still got a bit more work to do, to do on myself first. Um, but let's see, are they going to reach out? Are they going to make a move towards you? Um, let's say within the coming month. We have the Hierophant, Taurus energy here. Three of Pentacles. Wow, some of you definitely work together here or you see each other at um, a community, like um, say, that, like a religious group, um, like church, the synagogue, um, temple, you know, whatever, something like that. Um, some of you, yeah, you see each other at work and the message here is they will speak to you, you know, when you next see each other. Ace of Swords reversed. Oh, okay. They're not going to speak their full truth. It might be like, oh, hi, it's nice to see you. How are you? How have you been? Or depending, you know, small talk that makes sense for wherever your connection currently is. So I see them being nervous, actually, and leaving thinking, oh, you know, I should have said this. I should have said that. Um, Six of Swords reverse so they're going to keep coming back in and trying you know trying to maybe i'm hearing something about witty i don't know if they want to have like a witty conversation with you they want you to leave thinking that they're really like quick and funny and subversive and that sort of thing i feel like for those of you who you don't you're not um you're not you're not seeing your person regularly face to face um because of the situation or circumstances i feel like they may like i said hold back for a while because they've still got a bit of growth here in their opinion you know we, we still don't have a king of pentacles here or even an emperor we have a knight of pentacles you see that's it they're on their way page of pentacles reversed i think your person wants to become this king of pentacles um before they make an offer to you because they want to bring something tangible because they know that that's what you deserve and that's what you're interested in not games um now remember in this deck it goes knight king queen so they're actually only one step away from being where they want to be um from feeling as ready 
um, as, as they feel they need to be to communicate, to come forward. And not just communicate to check in, to see, you know, how your day's been, but to, to tell you really, you know, how they feel and what they envision for the both of you. Because let's say they're saying, okay, I want to have a home with you. I want a relationship. I want a marriage. They want to be able to say, and here is what I'm contributing to this. They don't want to seem like they're coming forward and saying, I see you have a nice home and you've got money and it's, this place is nicely decorated. Um, can I move in? You know, they don't want it to be like that. Okay, so let's go on to our message cards. And, you know, you might be thinking, well, life isn't all just about resources and money, but, um, you know, this is, it's definitely adding to their sense of, like, pride within themselves and self-esteem and self-respect and that sort of thing. Okay, so the original intention with this deck um, was that the creator decided that the red would be from the masculine, whichever energy that is in your connection, and the blue would be from the feminine energy. I'm going to read blue and red as all of them being messages from your person but if you prefer the original intention you can you know set set your intention around that now okay so it says I am angry with you but really I am angry at myself okay so right now or in the past you may have felt this person taking something else on you or projecting onto you and that's an acknowledgement that they have done this why did you choose them over me Okay, so they could see you in another situation and feel like you chose someone or you were with someone, you met your person here that you're asking about and you didn't then leave that person to be with this person um, and they're asking why. Um, I daydream about being the mother or father of your children. I think this card comes out every single time I use this deck. So you see they really want something um very serious very committed here and um this this could be about literal children whether you're having they want children with you like to have children together or maybe you have children they do and they want to to you know come together um or it you know we could think of this as i want us to be the parents of something we've created together not like a someone you know like a business or something like that Okay. when you left me I felt like it was because you <laughs> okay when you left me I felt like it was because you did not think I was good enough well you see that's projection because we know that that's what they've really been focused on am I good enough yet am I good enough yet am I good enough yet let me let me have a look let me check in let me see what's going on with you no not quite yet let me keep working how about now almost not yet let me keep you know um so they decided they were not good enough for you and projected that onto you and then maybe felt angry because they felt they were being judged when you were maybe being very loving very compassionate now hold on so remember i was saying about the masculine feminine energy now whether you're reading it that way or not let's say we have a masculine energy here with the red feminine with the blue now feminine is about you know yin energy introspection the masculine energy that we all embody is kind of outward facing this may be what you've primarily seen from your person passion to varying degrees whether it's passion in terms of someone is impassioned and angry someone is feeling passion and they're being sexual that may be what you've mostly seen from your person here um, not their doubts not their fears not their insecurities not their daydreams I am considering moving on with a soulmate, but I really don't want to have to, to have to. So maybe they became angry, distant, cold, even, you know, brought in a third party into the situation and they might regret that now. That could be, for some of you, one of the ties or like the ultimate tie, that boss I was talking about, that they have to um, remove. For some of you, it could be that if they're in a relationship, they might be in a relationship with their boss um why do you stay when they treat you so badly now how interesting that's right underneath why did you choose them over me so for those of you who are in another relationship or you know commitment situation your person here has decided <laughs> that you're not treated well enough that that person's not good enough for you now in some cases you that might be very true but the reason i'm laughing is because for some of you um you know 
it's definitely not true here. You might be in a situation where this other person treats you very, very well, but it's almost like a bit of like envy or jealousy coming through. Um, and your person here feeling like, I'm, you know, I'm jealous, I'm upset, I don't want you to be with someone else, or I'm going to convince myself that your relationship is very bad. Um, okay. <clears throat> Um, I can't wait to lay my head on your chest and listen to your heartbeat. And then we have, uh, are you sorry for hurting me? Wow. Okay. Um, and that is underneath, when you left me, I felt like it was because you did not think I was good enough. I think your person has done a lot of projecting here in the past. Um, some of you might even feel like they're doing this currently and also jumping to conclusions and then things snowballing from there you know they've decided something they've decided that's true and then they're adding on layer upon layer upon layer and all of these layers are, are built on an in um an inaccurate conclusion that they've made which is basically that you've judged them at some point or you didn't think they were good enough and that's that was all coming from within them okay Okay, so Spirit, what else would my viewer's person like to say to my viewer? I could really use some um, consistent messages of love while I go through some tough stuff. <laughs> excuse me, tough stuff. Please hold my hand from a distance while I get over this hump. I'll explain later. I'm healing a childhood trauma before I feel comfortable starting a relationship with you I feel could be healthy enough to maintain without getting so easily triggered and taking things out on you. <gasps> okay, that could be what that um, page of pentacles in reverse is about as well. I have intimacy issues right now. I'm afraid I'll have performance anxiety and or don't feel very confident about being physical in a healthy way or opening up about my past. I feel this intimacy issue, as I said, the only masculine card we have here is this anger. I think they're very confident with showing maybe anger, frustration, passion, like sexuality, or that sort of passion. But I do not think they're, um, you know, they have been very confident in terms of expressing like their intimate thoughts and feelings and, you know, emotions and, and that sort of thing. Okay, what else, please? Oh, I'm just so angry or jealous. I can't see straight. Let me calm down before I'll reach out to you if I decide to. I just can't believe you did that. So, um, for some of you, you might know that what this is talking about. Maybe something has happened recently. I do feel, though, um, this could be linking to... Remember how we were saying that if there's someone else in the picture, they feel jealous and they kind of do what they can, what they need to, to make themselves feel better about that situation. Um, now, if you're not with anyone and you've done nothing to sort of... Um, that could possibly have triggered your person, then maybe they're just kind of jealous person or maybe just jealous when it comes to you. Okay. And remember that card, what was it? Yes, the Empress. And it's making me think of the star. So I do feel you have, you know, you get lots of attention here. You're very admired, um, maybe more than you even realise for some of you. And I think that can make them jealous as well. Okay, so what else, please? What else does my viewer's person I want to say to my viewer? I care too much about what others think right now. Even though I don't show it, I'm sorry for how things went between us. Now, for some of you, yes, your person literally is worried about people's opinions, but I get a double message here again. I think they care too much. Like they know I'm too concerned with what other people are thinking about you, the viewer. Like. I care about how you're being seen, what they think of you, are they trying to trying to make a move on you, is anyone, you know, are you talking to anyone behind the scenes? It's like they don't want people to see you to look at you. Um, they don't want people to try and 
or they don't want people to be romantically attracted to you because it makes them feel very, very jealous. Yeah, I don't know if I can meet your expectations. You see, they've placed all these expectations on themselves and at times projected those onto you and felt like, oh, you think I should be better. Lying was just easier for me than telling you the truth. So I do feel that's them lying about their feelings. For some of you, they could have said, yeah, I, you know, it's just a friendship, calm down or something. Um, or it could have been lying by omission. So, yeah. Okay. So, Spirit, what do you have to say, please, about this connection? We have power. You instinctively know what is right for you and have the power to say no or walk away at any time. I do feel there have been power struggles in this situation. Um, I feel that your person has in some ways tried to control you um, and realised you cannot control someone who shines as brightly as you do. And that has made them feel angry, that has made them feel insecure. Um, perhaps you've recognised the manipulative tendencies in your person and they haven't worked on you and then they've not known, you know, what to do because healthy relationships maybe aren't something they're used to. Um, but yeah, I think there's there's something in this, um, in this reading I'm seeing here, in this dynamic about power. Um, we've got the devil here and in this card the devil is, is almost entrapping this woman by whispering really nice sweet things into her ear so she thinks she's there by choice but he knows what he's doing he's being cunning um and also this sort of like intros introspective private broody angry deep um observational energy it's very like scorpionic here um okay so I feel this person maybe wanted to know what you weren't telling them. They wanted to see the parts of you that other people don't see, like physically, but also um, emotionally, psychologically. Um, but there was something a bit unhealthy in that because they may have felt like if I can see, you know, your insecurities, for example, I feel like I have more control, more power. And spirit is, is like, no, that is not happening. Um, what you need to do is go away and work on yourself to feel secure and to have your own personal power and that's what's been happening and if you've had a period of separation you know it could have been that that was divinely guided because this there, there was there was like an unhealthy um, kind of heavy dark energy here I think and a misuse of control and power and that sort of thing in some way Okay, when you pass from this world, you take nothing with you but your soul and the memories you have shared with those you love. And we have imagine all unwanted thoughts dissolving into light, creating room for new opportunities and possibilities for your life. Okay, so I feel these two last cards are just reminders, you know, just that, you know, we shouldn't really get too attached to the things we have, the things we're building, you know, and... Um, at the next goal, the next goal, the next goal. Like, of course, we always need to, to have something in mind or we can start to feel aimless and depressed, um, like a goal in mind or something like that. But um, I feel like this is about maybe flexibility, adaptability when it comes to the 3D, because ultimately all we can't take any of this stuff with us. All we can take with us are the experiences. And, you know, something here about making room. I think, I think there is a change coming in here. I'm gonna pull one more card. Um, and I wonder if it's about making room in a tangible sense, do you need to declutter, but making room through compassion, forgiveness, release, and, you know, reminding yourself of what's really, truly important for you at the core of this connection, so you can let any superfluous stuff just fall away. Can we get one more card, please? Okay. It is important right now to take a step back and spend some time alone instead of placing your focus on another. Now is the time to give to yourself. Okay, yeah, so a bit of introspection here, reflection. What do you want to keep for yourself? What do you want to um, release um, in whichever context? And I think this is just confirming, yeah, your person feels that, that they need a little bit more time um, to get themselves, you know, ready here. But I don't think it's far off, and I think that's why you're being encouraged to make room in whichever way you might feel that you need to. Um, okay, so I will leave this here. So I hope it's helped. Thank you so much for being here, and hopefully I will see you soon. Bye.